We're talking about replanning that event. Hundreds of University City families are also wanting to know what the city is planning to do to prevent plans for more widespread flooding along the River De Pere in the future. Fox 2's Mallory Thomas continues our team coverage tonight after speaking with the city manager about their work with the Army Corps of Engineers. Mallory. Bridges and narrow areas just like this one are really what is causing all of these problems. They simply cannot handle the volume of water that is going under these bridges and that's causing problems. The city says, of course, that is something they want to improve. Trash, debris and waterlogged furniture lines the streets along the river to pair. That channel where it takes it underground is too narrow, which causes the floodwaters to back up, which causes greater flooding. Gregory Rose is a city manager. He says the city is two years into a three year long flood risk management study and the frequency and severity of the flooding is getting worse. We have been working with the Army Corps of Engineer on trying to identify a solution that won't completely solve the flooding problem here, uh, but it will begin to minimize it. Rose says the study evaluates a lot of impacts from buyouts to retrofitting homes. Buyouts isn't the solution uh, because if you look at the number of homes that were impacted in multiple areas uh, within the city, we would have to buy out. Uh, quite uh, quite a few properties. He says the flooding is going to be an ongoing problem and wants to see more people involved in creating a long term solution. There has to be a partnership form between all of those agencies to really come up with a strategy for addressing uh, the flooding. There are phases of this plan. Phase one is the study and phase two is constructing and building that detention base and he hopes to do that next year. They do need to get the city's approval and then they'll begin to get funding from the federal government for that construction. Live in University City, Mallory Thomas, Fox 2 News.